Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back for another week. Well, we finally got through Canada and we get into Alaska. Uh, the one thing to start out with, uh, I've kind of hit on different things and different problems that happened. And one of the things was our spare tire cover blew off somewhere. And the one thing they say in Canada almost all the time is no worries. So when I replace my spare tire, I decided that's a good thing to put on there because no matter what, you should have no worries because it's not a glass half empty. Sometimes it's just nice to have a glass. Well, we're into Alaska and the very first campground in Alaska is in Toke. And it is the Toke RV Village and Cabins. It is an extremely nice campground. I mean, it's got like 142 camping spots, which I believe uh, 72 of them are 50 amp. 28 of them are 30 amp. There is just electricity and water is 41. They have seven cabins and there is three glamp tent spots. So they were kind of neat. Now, we went there two times. We went there on the way up, only spent the night. It was kind of rainy that Pacific day. And then we did stop on the way back because the way the situation was, and I got to say this more than anything, on the way back, had trouble with my electricity. And I went up to the front and said, have you got any problem with your electricity? And I mean, they just didn't take the standard, well, no, it's okay. They actually, the one of the owners, he came out there, helped me rewire, check it, and he, it was basically, or he had to put his meter on it, and he saw that uh, I had a problem with my neutral, so we kind of rewired it a little bit, then it worked. Now, it even went further than that, because in the middle of the night, it started messing up, and we found out that my inverter went wrong. So, I asked him the next day, because he was very, very knowledgeable, very, very handy, and he said, you know, put his meter on again, says, they're not getting any, any power back in to charge a battery. So that's the reason why your battery is going low and it's giving you the notice. So he had a battery charger there, let me borrow it. And then I asked around if there's any RV techs in the area. He goes, no, I says, you're going to have to get back down to Whitehorse, which that's why we stopped at Whitehorse, which is the last uh, video I just did. And uh, I did go buy a, uh, a uh, battery charger up there, spent quite a bit of it because it is a small little area and got us down to Whitehorse. And in Whitehorse, uh, it was fixed. It just took a day and took a little bit of money. But besides that, you know, it was done. But I can say this but beyond anything at all. My God, it's such a nice situation where you have a camp host that is so helpful, so, you know, just so knowledgeable and just, you know, so I'd strongly recommend going there. Well, it has nice little store. It has bathrooms. It has the, the laundry service, and it's kind of got more than one. It did have cable TV also, and it did have Wi-Fi in the Pacific area. We were staying there one night. I think we used the, the Wi-Fi on the second night, but... Uh, Toke itself isn't a very big town. It's got a population of 1,243, few small stores, few restaurants. Uh, it did have the stores themselves and the grocery stores, they had camping supplies in it. And that's actually where I bought the uh, uh, battery charger. But uh, it, and it had, and we were there on a Sunday when we did this. I think there was an auto supply place, but it wasn't up until the following Monday, and we were leaving that morning to go down to White Horse to get it fixed and things. So, but it was very, very nice campground. Uh, had mostly gravel, but there was quite a few trees. It was more like the campground. It wasn't like the ones we were coming through Canada, which were mostly gravel parking lots. This was more of a case of uh, a true campground. So I would strongly recommend stopping by there because you couldn't ask for better camp host. I didn't say this, but we actually traveled 390 miles from Whitehorse 
and which is 629 kilometers to get there because there wasn't terribly much there and it was like get into Alaska and this was the first place in Alaska. So I hope this has been informative and I sure hope to see you next time. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and make me happy. Bye! Bye.